Hello viewers, welcome to the Santa Fitness session. Myself Ravi Teja Ravi and with me is Nitesh. Hi. So we are going to teach you a few more uh, techniques. You have already learned the kicking technique, the roundhouse to the thigh level. Now today's session we are focusing more on the kicks. We are also going to teach you how to raise your leg. Uh, we are also going to teach you some leg rises and also going to teach you some uh, flexibility workouts to help you deliver the kick to the high level and uh, so don't miss this uh, before we start pay cho okay now let's start with some warm up ready down up down side other side change other side change other side and change press your fingers pull them back and change downwards and change press your hand pull it to the side let your back muscle stretch change other side okay change your knee and pull your knee close to the chest other side and change outside very good other side and back get your heel close to the glutes and change inwards let change and change Take your legs, swing your hands, rotate them. Reverse. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and change downwards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, change. Put it to your hip, circumvotation. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. Put it your thigh. Four, five. Reverse. One, two, three. Four, five, leg change. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Change. Side. Crossword. To touch one. And change. One, two, three. Four. Touch your toes, press downwards, press your chest and elbows downwards, stick inside and bend back. Four steps. One, four. Five, one, two, three, four. Okay, change. Now, stretch your erector muscles. 
keep your feet in contact with the floor back leg straight and keep fluttering up and down pulsing very good change now bend your knee back at knee and raise the heel repeat the same on the other side change now side squat 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 change raise your toes 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 change check your legs and rotate your feet before that just move it up and down and sideward so that you will be able to uh, get the movement make your ankle free make sure it is not rigid before you try to rotate it ankle should be very free while rotating okay rotate change focus on a point at your uh, toe ball and just try to move it in circular way keep your ankle free then you will be able to do the feet rotation now jumps one two three four five six you are doing simple skips here two one change kick forward one two three four five six seven eight nine ten side kick don't use too much force just to free your muscles change back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten change twist your hip and change high knee speed up five four three two one change kick backs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten change side tap one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, change, jumping jacks, 5, 6, 8, 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, change, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, change, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Leg change. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sidewards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Change. Shake your legs. You need to have a proper warm-up before you do any activity without the proper warm-up you cannot give your best like i said earlier we are going to focus more on kicks today so in while doing kicks you will have to use more of your energy you might get drained out you can keep a water bottle handy uh, near to you uh, so before moving to the next level let's do some uh, leg risings this is also a kind of warm-up also it frees your uh, leg muscles and allows you to kick freely so get ready for that first strike strike rising one leg back the leg which you are rising should be back you can keep your hands like this or you can keep in on guard position now you need to rise it slightly without bending your knee as as high as possible and make sure the base leg should be tight while doing the rise or else there is a chance you might fall back 
so uh, keep the base leg the one which is uh, in contact with the ground should be tight you can of course uh, raise on your toe not a problem but you should be able to stabilize yourself and this leg should be tight knee should be straight and uh, once you raise it bring it back to the position where you have started now ready go one two three four and one more thing do not bend your body try to keep your spine straight five six seven eight also uh, many times you tend to throw your kick upwards try not to throw it up just uh, try to take it back on your shoulder over your shoulder nine ten very good a change one two three four five six seven eight nine ten very good now let's do the same thing in a cross don't do it uh, don't take it too cross just take it on to the other shoulder alternate shoulder ready go one two three four five six seven eight very good nine ten okay like change one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay these can be done uh, by people of any weight uh, but make sure if you are getting any uh, lower back pain uh, if you are getting any lower back pain just uh, pause it for a while and just and you can uh, resume it later or else you can simply do five repetitions and you can uh, change it now let's do it inward rotation ready on guard inner rotation with leg rise go one two three this uh, will be bit uh, tricky like you know you should be take it rise it from this and bring it inside and take it back also while withdrawing uh, the common mistake is uh, they bend the knee while bringing it back don't uh, don't bend it this way just bring it straight so you can also take the support of any objects available uh, at your home you can take the support of wall in, at the initial stages also you can uh, use any chair or something anything that is not actually rigid that does not hurt you and uh, you can uh, simply try to do uh, do the kick over it just uh, i'll just show you demonstrate you target pad here just to check uh, whether the raise is uh, proper or not go on four five very good six seven eight nine good ten very good so uh you don't need to be very flexible like you don't need to be able to do full split or something to be learning the kickboxing or anything because you don't have to uh, kick on the roof all the maximum kick you can deliver is to the face so if you are able to raise your kick to the face you are fit to uh, you are fit and flexible enough to practice kickboxing so we will be just try to take the kicks only till the face level now leg change very good three four five six seven eight if you can take your leg higher well and good you can uh, do it but if you can only take to the face level height 
no problem keep trying you are uh, fit enough if you are if it is going a little lower to the uh, hip level or even lower than that try to hip level try to increase it for the hip level later increase it to the chest level later you can try to the face level slowly slowly you can improve there is nothing to worry last three two one okay now let's do some outrage go one this is a bit simple when compared to inner edge two okay towards the camera now check the movement how it comes from the uh, in to the out okay now go three four five six seven eight nine 10 